Today I want to talk about transcritical booster system and really the basic system. And I want to talk about the components versus the entropy diagram. This is a great diagram that was developed by Andre Patton and, and the team here at Emerson. And it made me really understand how it's flowing through the system when it was explained to me. So I want to explain it to you today. So here, number one, right here, this is the medium temp compressors, four, Copeland's four MTLS compressors. When they start up, one to two, discharge, this is discharge. So we go from one to two medium temp compression into something we call a gas cooler or condenser. So it's a gas cooler when you're above CO2's critical point, which is 87.8 or 31 degrees Celsius. And what that means, you're in a transcritical zone. Now the CO2 is a supercritical fluid. There's no pressure temperature relationship. So when you're above that. Out of this gas cooler, right here, it goes to from, uh, from three to four. It goes to what we call our high pressure valve. And there's three main functions to this high pressure valve. So the first real function is as a metering device. It's reducing the pressure from 11, 12, 1300 PSI down to about 500 PSI. Or if you're in bar, 80, 85, 90 bar down to about 34 bar. The second function is when you're in the subcritical zone. So you're below this critical point. You're below that 87.8 or 31 degrees Celsius. Now it's, that valve is maintaining a subcooled liquid, three to five degrees subcooling. And the third mode is really in the middle of winter when it's minus 20, minus 30, minus 40 out. And that valve is like a holdback valve to make sure you can continue to move the CO2 through the system. So that's a high pressure valve. So out of the high pressure valve, you go from three to four into what we call a flash tank receiver. Now this flash tank receiver is where we store the CO2 liquid. And that receiver feeds both the medium and the low temp evaporator, super cool. And there's another line right here. So we go from uh, four to nine, which is right here, four to nine, to a valve that we call our bypass valve, or gas valve, or flash gas bypass valve, whatever you wanna call it. And the main function for this valve is to bypass gas to maintain a constant pressure in here. So you have good quality liquid going to both your medium temp and low temp evaporators. So out of this flash tank, so we got four to five, so we have four to five, so we go from inside our curve, enthalpy diagram, out to the liquid. So we hit liquid. So now we have liquid feeding both the medium temp, so from five to six. And when we go across from five to six, it reduces the pressure. So now we're reducing from 500 PSI down to about 400 PSI, which is around 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Or it could be 34 bar down to about 27 bar, which is about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. We go through the evaporator, six to seven. So we go six to seven. And then we go back into the medium temp suction and we'll talk about that in a second, pretty cool. From the flash tank receiver, we also feed the low temp metering devices right down here. So we reduce the pressure down to around minus 20 Fahrenheit. So we're taking 500 PSI CO2 and dropping it all the way down to about 200 PSI or if it's 34 bar, we're reducing it down to 14 bar. And then going through from eight to 11, going through our minus 20 SST evaporator into our low temp compressors. So these could be ZO compressor, Copeland compressor, or four MLS compressors, semi-hermetic Copelands. And then 11 to 12, so we hear, here's our low temp compression back into the medium temp suction. So we have our low temp discharge, we have our medium temp evaps, as well as the flash gas bypass going back into the medium temp suction. And so that's how it cycles. That's a basic booster system cycle. My name is Trevor Matthews. Shoot some comments below. Let's get a conversation started. If you wanna see other CO2 videos, please shoot it in the comments below and I'll try to make some videos for you.